Well, here we go then, folks. My first playthrough on FM24, and it's with my favorite club, Liverpool. This is not going to be a long save. We'll just play for a couple of seasons because it's the beta version. And of course, just like every other year, eyebrows has been raised. Now let's start with the club vision. They want us to play attacking football, to develop players using the club's youth system, of course, and sign players under the age of 23. The five-year plan, end of the current season, win the Europa League, of course, qualify for the Champions League. We can do this. We can win the Europa League. Challenge for the FA Cup and be competitive in the League Cup. Next season, become recognized as the best of the rest, probably because Manchester City is the best team uh, in uh, the Premier League. Let's face it, let's be honest, they are the best. And win the Premier League in two seasons and so on. Let's accept this. Liverpool players in uh, their last year of their contracts, Thiago, Joel Matip, Adrian, and so on. I might sell Thiago, not Joel Matip, I don't think so. By the way, if you guys are following my saves on FM on my channel, you know that uh, I usually disable the first uh, transfer window. But because this is the beta version, I enabled it just to see if there is anything new with transfers. So I might sell Thiago, Joel Matip, I don't know, Adrian and the rest of these guys as well as they're not good enough. Transfer window in progress. The biggest spender Chelsea, almost half a billion. Spend most players in Brentford, most players out Chelsea, 40 players, Jesus. Top transfers window deals, Harry Kane went to Bayern München for 100 million and Declan Rice from West Ham to Arsenal for 117 now let's quickly go through the squads i'm gonna skip this most of these players are well known around the world but let's quickly go through each of them so we have allison as our first choice goalkeeper he's 30 now great goalkeeper as backup we have kelleher who's decent from my point of view 24 i don't know who this guy is he's a youngster he was on loan for the last two seasons. I'll probably loan him once again or maybe sell him. And of course, uh, the veteran Adrian, 36-year-old emergency backup. He's still decent for a 36-year-old. We got Williams and Phillips out on loan. So with uh, this guy, Arroyo, Lewis, and uh, of course, Carvalho to Leipzig. So uh, in defense, we have Virgil van Dijk, who's 31. White centre back, ball playing defender, one of the best centre backs in the world. Uh, Ibrahima Konate, 24 year old, great central defender as well. Joel Matip, who's 31, and in his last year of his contract, he's earning a lot of money. He's wanted by Inter. I might let him go, I'm not sure yet. And Joe Gomez, I want to keep Joe Gomez, even though most people say he should leave the club. In a real life so we have Connor Bradley as a backup to Trent probably he who's injured right now five to six months Jesus a wing back who's poor in crossing and dribbling for Liverpool's first team but his physical attributes are great for a 19 year old so we have Trent of course 24 now inverted wing back uh, yeah, I guess uh, they did this once Jurgen Klopp decided that he should move in midfield. When uh, Liverpool has possession, he's earning a lot of money, but he deserves it. I don't think he's an inverted wing-back. I'll say he's a wing-back on attack. I mean, uh, you have to take advantage of this 17 crossing. Come on. Passing 18, technique 17. Yeah, not too great physically for a 24-year-old. Costas Timikas, back up to Robertson on the left, decent, 16 crossing, Andrew Robertson of course, first choice, complete win back, crossing 16, great mentals, great physicals, moving on to McAllister, the new signing, 24, deep lying playmaker, that seems to be his best role, I'll probably use him in this position. Good signing. Ryan Gravenberch, another good signing from my point of view. 
Advanced Playmaker, sure, a Mezala on attack, decent, but his finishing is only 10 in the game. I believe this is low, it doesn't reflect how good this guy is in real life or how good he was when he used to play for uh, Ajax. Wataruendo, he's a squad player, a backup in that position, a ball winning midfielder, not a deep lying playmaker can also do a job uh, a little bit forward, box to box, finishing 10, long shot 11, his mentals are great, physically he's decent, 30, Thiago, he's out injured, 32, for how long, 3 to 4 months, nobody's going to buy him, so he'll probably stay until uh, his uh, contract will uh, run out. Matteo Ritaccio, I don't really know who this guy is, 21, oh, okay, he's been around at Liverpool for some time, my shame, my mistake that I don't know uh, this guy, he was on loan last season, probably loan him once again or maybe sell him, he's injured between 5 weeks and 2 months, Jesus. Harvey Elliott, he's now 20. He's now natural as an advanced playmaker, even though he started uh, playing as an inverted winger or uh, an inside forward on the right. Okay. First touch 17, passing 16, not bad, not bad, Elliot. Moving on to another new signing, Dominic Zobozai. This guy can play anywhere on the pitch. He's an advanced playmaker, Mezala on support, okay, because I'm not going to use uh, this role right here. I'm going to use a 4 free free with a DM, so I'll probably use uh, him as a Mezala or an advanced playmaker. Curtis Jones, he's still natural on the left, even though he's been playing most of the time in midfield. Advanced playmaker, okay, he's not bad, 22. Moving on to Luis Diaz. Inside forward on the left. You can also do a decent job on the right and in attack. But uh, yeah, this is uh, his natural position. Inside forward on the left. Great player to have around 26. We have Paul Glatzer. This guy is from uh, the second squad. He's probably going to be sold or loaned out. I'll look to sell him. Not good enough. Cody Gakpo. Winger on the left, even though he's right-footed, advance forward, or as a winger on the right, I'll probably use him uh, in this position as an inside forward. Moving on to Diogo Jota, I really like Diogo Jota, he's wanted by AC Milan, not gonna happen probably, can play in attack, can play on the right and on the left as an inside forward. I believe he's better than uh, what we are seeing here, especially in his physical attributes. Moving on to Darwin Nunez, 24 now, pressing forward. Yeah, he's not bad. Decent technical attributes. And uh, of course, we have a Mohamed Salah, an inside forward on the right. World class, well known around the world. So I've chosen the Gegenpress style tactic, of course, with uh, the 4 free free. I hit quick pick and this uh, is what my assistant chose for uh, the first 11. Of course, we have players out on holidays like Gravenberg, Charviallet, Curtis Jones. So because we don't have a natural box to box once Henderson left and Fabinho and so on, I'm going to use a deep lying playmaker, a Mezala on support and an advanced playmaker on attack. This might be a mistake. I believe this is best with a Tiki Taka style, not with the Gagan Press. But I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, I'm not going to use uh, the inverted fullback. Maybe the inverted wingback for uh, Trent when he plays in this position. Maybe. I'm not sure uh, yet. So I set up my set pieces in Zwinger for uh, the delivery. My corner takers are uh, Trent, Sobozlai and McAllister from the left and uh, Robertson, Timikas and Elliot from the right. The main focus will be the near post and uh, let's see the preview with the starting 11. So we have our aerial threats, Van Dijk, Konate attacking near post with Joe Gomez far post and Nunez moving forward. 
Our box threat, Mohamed Salah, will attack the ball from the edge of the area. Our creator is uh, Luis Diaz. He's going to lurk outside the area. And we have Robertson and Soboslai uh, uh, staying back with McAllister staying back if needed. And uh, I do have a second routine here aiming for uh, the far post, but this will happen less often than uh, near post crosses. Basically, it's about the same. I don't have any box threats, but I do have our aerial threat right here and uh, the rest of them with Salah lurking outside the area this time. If you guys want to see the rest of this, free kicks, shooting range wide and so on. It's basically the same thing as it was in the previous version, but it's a little bit different because now you have roles for... Uh, your players like aerial threats creators defenders and so on but if we look right here you can adjust this the way you want to and it's basically kind of the same thing you have players lurking outside the area attacking the ball from the edge attacking the near post the far post and uh, so on there is something new with transfers for example let's just try and sell tiago even though nobody's gonna come with for him because he's injured now you have a, a few options like ask agent about market interest. I'm going to try this. Okay, let's go with this one. Okay, fuck off. Hire an intermediary. I want to try this first, then I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, there is no interest. You may want to discuss it. Uh, no, I don't want to. Or you can offer him via transfer. My client may not react well. I'm gonna do this offer via transfer room so i believe the transfer room is like an online market for players but can i get access to it let's go at scouting players scouted players quick search transfer listed that's all i thought maybe we can get access to all of them uh, listed and uh, who's interested in them and so on but no or maybe i don't know how anyway that replaces the old ways when we got a message in our inbox that nobody wants the guy or something like that so basically he's going to stay in that transfer room until uh, somebody makes an offer for him or until we remove him i guess yeah let's see the staff well, we got something new here as well, a set-piece coach. We don't have one right now, so I'll have to hire one. The rest of it seems to be the same. I'm going to leave my trading to my assistant, as I do every single year. In scouting, I didn't saw anything new. If you guys did, please let me know. No transfers in and out. Club information, club vision. We got our finances, 74 million and... Uh, around 4.7 in wages per week dev central we got two hot prospect in ben doke and bajetic who i'm gonna move to the senior squad because uh, they deserve it speaking of the squad i'm gonna look to customize my uh, views here now let's take a look at the schedule we got some friendlies i guess i'll be back for uh, the first game of the season away at fulham and uh, we'll end the episode there if I discover something new, like how negotiations goes down uh, for transfers uh, this year, I'll uh, record that and I'll be back. If not, I'll see you guys uh, for the game away at Fulham. Well, nothing new to report. I haven't made any transfers. Virgil van Dijk had a transfer offer from uh, Al Hilal for around 70 million. I rejected it, of course. We have some injury issues, lots of them. Robertson is out, Diaz. Bradley and Thiago were already out, Kelleher as well. So uh, here's the first 11 that's going to face Fulham away from home. Allison, Timikas, Van Dijk, Konate, Trent, McAllister, Sobozai, Gravenberg, Diogo Jota, Nunez up front and of course Salah on the right. So the Premier League gets started away at Fulham. It's not an easy game but uh, we're favorites to win it of course and uh, I believe we're going to get the three points. Any new animations? No, not really. We see the Premier League table and all. Let's skip this. Here we go, our first highlight of the game. Virgil van Dijk wins a header there. Sobos lie now. Back to Konate. 
Raven Birch. Do I sign a new central defender and let uh, Joel Matip go? He is wanted by uh, Inter. I don't know. I was looking on buying uh, Jose Gaia and uh, selling Timikas, but another Arab team came in for Jose Gaia and offered him almost a million a week. Gravenberg scores our first goal with one heal up. Moving in front uh, from that advanced playmaker position on attack, he gets into the box and uh, with one heal up. While Aston Villa are one heal up against Manchester City, this is important. Timikas with a throw in. He's Diogo Jota. McAllister. Nicely done from McAllister. Nunez. So close. This time Trent with a throw in. Darwin back to Trent. Here's uh, Nunez again. Virgil van Dijk. Back to Trent. Mo Salah. Nice intention there. Safe hands from Leno. The highlight will probably continue. It has to. We didn't end up with a goal or with a good opportunity to end it there. So Sobos lie to Konate. He's Gravenberg. The match engine seems a little bit different. An improvement. A good counter-attack here with Diogo Jota. Jota! He's the crossbar. And that's the end of the highlight probably, yes. But we get another one immediately. Yeah, we're controlling this game away from home at Fulham. Here's Salah in the penalty area. Oh, what a good opportunity. Good save there from uh, Leno. Corner now. Trent Alexander-Arnold is going to take it. Near post, of course. And we're 2-0 up. Konate scores his first goal of the season, of course. It's his first goal because it's the first game. And we're 2-0 up. After 45 minutes, great first half so far from our boys. We're approaching half time, seven shots, two on target, two goals. Yeah, really good uh, first half from our uh, boys. I'm pleased. Yes, keep going, boys. Free kick. Is it Sobozai? No, it's McAllister. He's gonna go for it. He should go for it. McAllister! What a good save from Leno. Now a corner for Fulham, get it away, don't let them get back into the game. A good opportunity there, their first opportunity. Around 25 minutes remaining, let's make some substitutions. Let's bring in uh, Elliot, no, he's really tired. Curtis Jones is going to come in for Sobozai, yeah, and buy a teach for McAllister. Oh my word, look at what happened now. Because we had a few injuries, I got Adrian on the bench. I usually don't keep a goalkeeper on the bench. Jesus Christ. Alisson, it's out. Nunez is on a 6.3. I'm gonna sub him off with 10 more minutes to go. Let's bring in Cody Gakpo for him. Aston Villa are still winning against Manchester City. As you can see, they have 3 points. Pro win for uh, Fulham. We're approaching uh, stoppage time. Just one more minute from regular time. 5 more minutes added. Block him, please. So we can have uh, an easy casual end of the game. Virgil van Dijk moves forward with the ball. He gets uh, tackled there. Mo Salah now. Salah, a good chance for a counter. Gakpo. Gakpo, look at him go. Save uh, from Leno. So there you have it, folks. Uh, three points, 2 nil away at uh, Fulham. 16 shots, 7 on target. Our best performer, Ryan Gravenberg. On his debut. Well done. So Arsenal won. Oh my word. Manchester City got spanked away at Aston Villa. 3-0. Newcastle also lost away at Luton. Newly promoted. So uh, next episode. I'll see you guys after the transfer window. Probably for the games. Against Newcastle, Tottenham. And in between these two. There's probably going to be an Europa League game. So three games next episode until then thank you guys very much for watching please subscribe to the channel hit the like button leave me a comment i'll see you guys for the next one